Hey guys, I wanted to jump in here really fast. This is not the beginning of the video I planned, but I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all of the love all of the outpouring support and just comments on my last video with the reveal of my palette with Odin's Eye and the Perfect World collection with Amanda's palette and Betty Jean's palette. And I just wanna say thank you so, so much. Thank you to all the creators who have made videos. It's been like completely overwhelming um, in like the best way, but it's just been a lot. And I just want you guys to know how appreciative I am. Yeah, it's been amazing. So thank you to just everyone who's shown it love, everyone who's talked about it, reviewed it. Just know I appreciate it so much. I wanted to talk about that in the video as I was like getting ready and everything and I don't know why I just like got into the makeup so um I wanted to make sure I put it here at the beginning so thank you so much. Let's get into this pink fantasy. Well, hello everyone welcome back. Today is kind of a miss mix match miss smash. Yeah. It's a combo video. So I went through, shot my stash. I was looking for pinks and Valentine's Day stuff. I've just been so into the pinks, you guys, lately. And I got the new LH Cosmetics Valentine's Day collection more recently. I did a little short and a lot of you guys wanted to see a look with that. So I have some of that stuff in here. I thought I would just show you though first what I picked out, things that I'm kind of like vibing with because I don't know what you have at home, but it's just more about the vibes, like the pink vibes. I don't know, getting inspired, kind of creating and picking and pulling products that could help you create a look. And then once you get into the room and the room being like, I don't know where you do your makeup. <laughs> and then you start creating with what's there. You don't know where, where it's gonna go. Maybe you come back and pull something else. Like that's kind of what I wanna do. But I also have two of the new Yummy Skin ah, Blurring Balm Powder Flushed Blushes. What are these called? The Cream Blushes from Danessa Myricks. I was so excited when these finally got to Sephora. So I'm gonna show you them first, I guess, because these are kind of taking over. Like I had some cream blushes picked out, but now I know, I'm gonna have to use one of these for sure. Hopefully, I'm, I always say like, I'll do a short and then I never do. It's like, I feel inspired sometimes to do shorts and then other times I'm like, I can't do it. <laughs> so I never know what I'm doing. Anyway, this peach one, so pretty. This is called Bellini, how appropriate. These feel very silky. That's it on my finger. Ooh, look at the pigmentation. That's Bellini, love it. And I really love the packaging. Um, I think that they look really nice and they're $25, which let's like be honest, it's not like cheap, but it's definitely not as expensive as it could be. Like, you know, we'd all be paying $29, $32 for these. So I, I appreciate the $25 price point on them. Anyway, this one is called Rose and Brunch. This is probably the one I'll use today cause it's more pink and I feel like it'll go with my look a little bit more. Those are the two that I got. Don't mind my like dry 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 crusty hands okay but let me show you the rest of the stuff that i picked out kind of get you inspired show you the vibes before we get into doing a look which i have no idea what it's gonna be yet all right so here's the pile of stuff <laughs> it's really aesthetic and cute looking no but seriously we'll start off with some eyeshadow things so of course the natasha denona love mini like how perfect is this this is one of the colors that every time i use it i'm like oh so pretty, so heavily inspired by this palette. Like I said, I have that new LH Cosmetics collection. This is the Bloma palette and lots of pretty pinks. I've done a couple different looks actually using this, so definitely inspired by that. And I feel like those palettes actually cover what's in here, but I wanted to pull out this Persona 5 pan just cause it has some mattes. Like every time I look at this, it's just like Valentine's Day love themed to me. So that's gonna go in here. And then I think this is the last palette. This is from Viseart. I actually use this in a vlog type video, just this color here and the light shimmer, but I thought I'd put it in, it's just like inspiration. You know, that's what this was like, ooh, let's have fun. It was like the fun part of shopping my stash and just kind of letting myself get creative with it. So put this in, this is called Frambois, I think is how you say it, Framboise. Maybe you do pronounce the S, I'm not sure. It's from uh, Viseart though. I did pick some single shadows though to put in here as well. This one's called Set to Stun from ColourPop. Pretty sure that one's going to go on my eyes. Like I just keep getting so inspired. It's this really pretty mauvey pinky purple with like blue shimmer in it. So beautiful. I have a whole video on ColourPop Super Shocks. If you want to check it out, this one was in there and you can see it on my eyes and stuff. I mean, I think you're going to get to see that today, but you know. Then this one is from uh, Phase Zero. This is called, I think, Bar. Barbie queen, Barbie girl. <laughs> this is called Barbie girl and it is so pretty. I'll do a swatch. Look at that. Ooh, so pretty. Pretty similar actually to set to sun. Uh, set to stun. Another single shadow I picked out. This one is from Urban Decay. It's the moon dust one. This one is in glitter rock. 
and it's another one that's just kind of like pinky purple lots of shimmer i thought it'd be a nice topper potentially we'll just see i picked up this kvd dazzle stick this is in the shade force field i don't think they have this color anymore but i know they do other ones and this one's more of that like red orange kind of color going on and then i think actually and truly the last single shadow thing in here this is from about face it's one of the shadow sticks and i thought i could use this as a base for whatever look i'm doing it's just a nice soft pearly pink i don't know i just thought it'd be good and this one is called baroque i feel like the next thing i have the most of are blushes so again we'll see what actually ends up happening but i have a lot of just like fun pink ones i'm really i don't know i was excited to do something pink and i might use that danessa myricks one as a base and then do something more poppy on top we'll see but this is from persona this is the shade bubble it's that like hot pink and then i also picked the corresponding bubble matte blush so i might use the matte blush on top of the Danessa Myricks. Maybe that'll like brighten it up or something. I use this as an opportunity to pull out an old fave. This one is from Clinique and this one's called Plum Pop. I don't think they make this anymore, but that is another kind of cooler pink. Not quite as like baby, you know, it has a little more richness to it. Then this one is from Dominique Cosmetics. It's the last shade I needed to complete the collection. I really love these blushes. This is more of a warmer pink though so that's it on the end there this is in the shade soft pink which is pretty appropriate i really love these blushes and then last i put in this half caked blush in disco lemonade which is another just like pink shade i'm telling you i was definitely feeling the pinks as i was shopping <laughs> my stash i was like yeah that's what i want lots of pinks then really the last few things we have some highlighters a lot of this you know some of this isn't like tons for the actual look but for highlighters i did pick two from kaleidos this one is called star surfer and it's just a light pink it has some pink sparkle throughout it but it's very icy but i also picked out mars melter and this one is more peachy with like a pink reflect definitely more warm i just thought in case the look goes that way that might be cool and then i do have bobby brown's pink glow which i love and that one's there really pretty let me wipe this stuff off and then i'll show you guys the lips and then last i have some lip stuff so this one is from mcqueen and this is kind of like the dior glow balm thing you put it on and then it kind of like turns <laughs> Let me actually twist it up but you put it on and then it kind of gets more pink but if i want to do like a full solid lip i have let's go crazy from nars look at that stunning pink and then i thought i'd pull out this kaleidos one this one's called cactus flower and it's a similar pink actually so if i do that i might though like kind of blot this on and then use this lawless lip gloss on top of it so it's like kind of ombre shiny that type of thing um but first i want to try with this you can kind of see more color coming through on the swatch already so and yeah that's mostly it i do have these liners these are also from the linda hallberg collection so this one here this one is called nugget and that is a liner a lip liner an eyeliner whatever you want to use it as and then the other one is called siren so i also have those for eyes lips whatever i might want to use them for so let's get started on this look okay all right hello everyone in fact it is the next day i had an impromptu friend come over and kind of derailed my plans but in the best way so um anyway let's do the look i was hoping to do yesterday today <laughs> i have my face already i hope it looks okay we need to get the base on so i'm gonna show you what i've been doing the last little bit i'm gonna use the valentino primer you guys know i love it so good so glowy so pretty even for oily skin it's still that good you guys oh my gosh my skin feels really smooth but i don't know if it's actually in good condition so hopefully this foundation goes on nice i'm gonna show you how i've been enjoying that nars foundation which i really have been loving since i got it so this is that uh radiant light reflecting sorry light reflecting foundation i have the shade mont blanc and these are like small little baby pumps my hands are full of primer they're getting primer on everything i'm like grossed out myself right now okay moving on moving on i do like one little pump one little pump and then i've been using this brush from bk beauty this is the 113 which i believe these brushes are now sold separately i know for a while they were only selling the newer brushes in a set but i take that first pump and i just like kind of dot it on or stripe it down where i want the most coverage and then as i have like less product on i'll like go in and start blending it out and i'm trying to just get like the lightest possible coverage on my skin that's like the goal 
and I use very light pressure on my brush. I don't know if you can tell, but it's very, very light. And so I just try to ration this one little half pump of foundation over my whole half of a face. And then when I have like less, I'll go to my nose because my nose needs like the least amount of product because I find it like always gets into my pores. I'm telling you, this has been really nice, like for just easy every day. And then this foundation also looks really good, like fuller coverage, but I've really wanted to like, I think I was doing like the first time I used this, I think I used like, I don't know, a lot, like three pumps for each side of my face. And I really wanted to see if I was able to kind of like get it down because I felt like it had good coverage and good everything. So that's what's left on my hand right now. And I also feel like Mont Blanc specifically as like the color for me is maybe the tiniest bit, a little dark, especially if I go with a fuller coverage. Look at this. I'm going to zoom you in. I know that's not what this video is really about. This is my face, so this is no foundation or anything, just that primer and some skincare. This is it with that one half pump. It looks like my skin, but I just look like fresh as hell. Like, it looks so good. I don't feel like I see any places where the foundation is sitting bad. Even here with, like, my pores, I didn't do anything too much, and I think it still looks really good. Ooh, so good. I'm thinking about doing a whole video on like less is more makeup and trying to kind of like get the most out of your makeup by using the least amount of product and just seeing how that is. I love a full glam too. Maybe we'll do some videos like that as well, but it's just been nice sometimes to not have tons of product on my face. And I really want to have this look going into summer because I find with oily skin, summer really just like, it can be a buzzkill if you have too much products on your face you know, but you still want to like look good. You still want to cover some of that redness. And I didn't even use any green color corrector right now, which that is a whole nother like avenue to go down to help as well. So just like really happy with this foundation so far. I also feel like I do get a little glowy throughout the day wearing it, but nothing too much. Nothing that's like so oily, it's like uncontrollable or, you know, sometimes how that can happen. So I'll stop talking about the foundation. Let me just get it on, but really I've been loving it. Okay, foundation is on. I think it looks stunning. I love it. I am going to add a little bit of concealer. I've also been doing that kind of like less is more with the concealer. So I'm using the Kosas and I'm literally gonna dot. Like what, dot? But yeah, I really want, I want this look to be like fresh. Oh yeah, I think that's it. I know, I know. So little. And then I'm gonna use my finger because I feel like I get the best result on my under eye with my finger. I, I hate to say that because I wanna just use a sponge. I don't want my grimy little fingers to be used right now. I just hate the feeling of like all that product, but I feel like it just kind of meshes better and doesn't leave like dry areas. The sponge sometimes, because I think the water can like just be weird. And I'm so shocked by how the foundation worked because I was using a brush and you guys know that's usually not a great way to treat my skin, but man, it looks great. All right, so that's my skin. Such a small amount of product being used, but I really feel like so perfected. And I think sometimes it's like easy to just get that full coverage mode or like wanting everything to be perfect and keep adding, keep adding, keep adding till you get there. But if you kind of like let that go and try to just perfect with as little as possible, you can get some really great results that way too. And I think especially like as I'm trying to try new foundations, try new methods and really get used to the skin that I have currently, you know, um, it's been, it's been really great. It's been working out. I don't know. I'm excited to also carry it into hotter months. Like really excited for that. Next, I do want to bronze up my skin. I don't think I'm going to powder yet. I'm going to use the Jones Road bronzer though. I have the shade light tan. So good. Really been loving this. I've been using it every day since I tried it and I think it looks really, really good. And I'm using it with the bronzer brush and I really just am adding some definition and color back to my face. I'm telling you, I'm so ready for just like fun summer and I want like an easy go-to look where I feel like put together and really pretty. I could glam it up if I want to. Kind of having that like base. I don't know, that's what I'm like trying to perfect right now. And then you can add any eye look you want. You can go intense, you can not, whatever you're feeling, baby. And then I always like to add a little on my nose just to like add some color back there. I don't know if I should powder before I go in with this blush from uh, Danessa Myricks. I'm so excited for this. So I don't think, I'm gonna try not and just kind of see how that goes, I think. And I'm gonna take this brush. It's not a normal brush I would use, but I kind of want to try it. This is pretty pigmented. I'm using the shade Rose and Brunch. 
And I'm just gonna pat it on. Oh yeah, definitely very pigmented. Really pretty though. I usually don't use such a small blush brush and it's taking me a little more time to blend out because you know, it's just more area to cover with a smaller brush, but I'm getting a more targeted application, which is kind of nice. I love how fresh that looks. I love a lot of blush right now. That's what this shade looks like. I think it's really pretty. I do get a little bit of that blurring. It doesn't have any shimmer. It doesn't have any like glow like that to it, but I do kind of like that because I do have some pores, you guys know. I think I'm gonna leave that there for now. Let's do eyebrows, start working on the look, and then we'll pick like highlighter, all of that. I'm gonna zoom us in a little bit as well. really good oh I forgot to put this on I'm gonna put on that balm so it can start staining my lips are really dry here they go look at it here they go okay for eye primer I'm gonna use that about face um, as my base and kind of yeah a bit of a primer moment So far, I really like this color. It's so uh, like light and subtle. It has that nice little bit of a sheen. It'd be so pretty just topped over with whatever blush. I'm gonna start in the LH Cosmetics palette and I'm gonna go in with this pink here. It looks like really light, but I find this looks really pink when I use it. Like it really shows up. So I just want that kind of as the base of the look and really work that into the crease. Like look how pink that's showing up. Next, I'm gonna go in with Taupe Pink from this Persona palette. I'm really like making use of everything. And I kinda wanna use this to build out the outer corner just a little. We're gonna deepen it up even more in a second. But I also wanna do a little bit of it on that inner corner. I want that like slight halo eye effect, hopefully. going back in with that first pink and just blending out the edges. Now I'm going into the Love Palette, the Mini Love from Natasha Denona. I'm gonna use that more purple shade. And again, just kind of layering it in those same areas. I'm gonna use the light shade in here for my brow bone and inner corner. Okay, and for the main lid shade, I wanna go in with this one. And I might add some deeper colors once I lay this down, but this is that set to stun shade. Ooh, so pretty. And I'm tapping that straight in the center and then kind of like tapping the rest of my eye. Okay, I quite like the way it's looking. I kind of I kind of want to add a little bit of a deeper color. So I'm going to go into, I think this shade, or maybe this. I'm going to try this first. It's called Orchid. And just kind of like tap that on the outer edge just to kind of get something else going. Because right now, it doesn't look like I did any of all those steps I just did. <laughs> and this will just kind of pump it up a little. I'm gonna powder just a little bit. I'm using the Kosas and it broke. I dropped it in my sink and it broke. I'm just tapping in the places I get the most oily. So T-zone. I'm going back and forth and if I should just like, I kind of want to dust a little bit of this hot pink on. I know that it's not like the same pink necessarily going on, but I'm gonna do it. Put it on this brush. I'm gonna kind of tap off some of that extra and then just like sweep over. 
No more than that. For highlighter, I kind of want to do this one and keep it simple. And I'm going to use it on this BK Beauty brush. This is the 112. Tap off and I can kind of build it up. Now this is the moment where everything kind of usually comes together for me. I am gonna use the tiniest bit of this liner. I'm using the shade Siren and I wanna tight line just a little bit with this. I might put the tiniest bit on the outer corner but I kind of wanna leave the bottom of my eye uh, weightless, like no liner, just really fresh. I think because we're using so many pinks, it will be a nice little touch. But for that top lash line, I'm just tight lining a little just adding a little bit of depth and fullness to the lashes. Then I'm just gonna blend it out a little bit. Okay, I'm like making sure none of it gets on my lower lash line waterline so it doesn't look like I'm dizzy. Ooh, that touch. Mm, mm. Mascara, I'm using this one from Ciate London, still testing it out. It's not my favorite so far. And I'm adding the mascara just to that outer, outer corner. But nothing else on the lower lash line. All right, I'm really loving how everything's turning out. I feel like my brow is like darker on this side. I don't know. What's up with that? Let's do lips and finish this out. I'm gonna take this one from Tower 28. I'm trying to just keep what I have going on because I kind of like that, but I want a line on my lips. These are all like warm. I don't think that was good. I'm gonna tap a little bit of this in the center. And then I'm gonna add the Lawless on top of all of that. This is like a glass shine kind of lip product. Okay, don't do what I did with the lip liners, but I kind of like it still. <laughs> I'm gonna zoom you in on the eyes. So here's what they look like. I What I really love is the skin. I really love the skin right now because like under my eye, there's very minimal product. I feel like I covered what I wanna cover, but I don't have like too much like cakey product anywhere, which is really nice. And it can let like everything shine through. So is my little pink look. I think it's so pretty. It's pretty much what I envisioned, you know, like a little bit of a purple tinge, lots of pink everywhere, but I don't feel like too pink any which way. But I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me. I hope it inspired you guys to get in your collection, pick out some fun pink makeup. I feel like there's so much blush and just like pink stuff coming out that has me so excited. But I love the look I created. Definitely want to do some more pink looks and I hope you enjoyed. Okay, I'll see you in the next one.